Hey everyone, this is Corey, and I'm going to show you how to play Dancing Nancys by Dave Matthews Band. So let's first learn the song's intro where Dave sings, Could I have been parking lot attendant? Could I have been mint millionaire up there in Bel Air? You're going to play this. Alright, so those are two chords, two note octave chords. I'm not even sure if they actually qualify as chords, but regardless, uh, the first one is a G. That's your first finger on a G on the low E string third fret, and your third finger also on, on, on a G on the D string fifth fret. Then you're going to slide that down one fret for an F sharp. First finger on an F sharp on the low E string second fret, and third finger also on an F sharp on the D string fourth fret. All right, you're going to pick each note individually. And then in between each lick, you're going to mute then strum these, these strings like this. Then, if you want, you could palm mute the chords like this. In case you don't know what that is, you're going to lightly touch the right side of your right hand against the strings at the bridge of the guitar so you get kind of a muffled sound when you strum like this instead of this. Alright, so next I will show you the chord progression played during the song's verses and during the violin jams. You're going to play this. Alright, so the so that's that's again two chords. The first chord is a G major. That's your second finger on that G on the low E string third fret, and your fourth finger on a B on the G string fourth fret. And if you want, you could also strum the open D string like this. Then the second chord is an F-sharp suspended fourth chord. That's your first finger again on that F-sharp on the low E string second fret. Your third finger on an F-sharp on the D string fourth fret. And your fourth fi finger still on that B on the G string fourth fret. And th throughout the chord pro progression, at times, you, you, you could also strum the open B and high E strings. So like this. So 
So from the verse, you're going to go right into the chorus. I look up at the sky. So you're going to start off with a uh, D major 7th chord. That's your first fit finger on the A string 5th fret, your second finger on the G string 6th fret, and your third fin finger on the D string 7th fret. And you're going to alternate between that and an A major chord. Right. Keep your second and third fingers where they were in the D chord, but move your first finger to an A on the low E string fifth fret. When he sings, almost become dizzy, you're going to play an F-sharp major bar chord. That's your first finger on that F-sharp on the low E string. Second fret, your uh, second finger on the G string third fret. Third finger finger on the A string 4th fret, and 4th finger on the D string 4th fret. And then, and then of course, uh, you go into the violin jam, where again, you're, you're going to play that chord pro progression I showed you be before. Alright, so the last part of the song that I need to show you is the bridge where Dave sings, Sing and dance, I'll play for you tonight, the thrill of it all. You're going to play a pretty standard chord progression. first chord is a B minor bar chord. First finger on the A string 2nd fret, 2nd fi finger on the B string 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the D string 4th fret, and 4th finger on the G string 4th fret. Then a D ma major. First finger on the G string, second fret, second finger on the high E string, second fret, and third finger on the B string, third fret, and strum the open A and D strings. Then an A major chord. your second fi finger on the D string, second fret, third finger on the G string, sec second fret, and fourth fin finger on the B string, second fret, and strum the open D, G, and high E strings. Then the last chord is a weird chord. It's actually that, uh, F sharp suspended fourth I showed you earlier, but you're going to slide it up two frets for a G sharp suspended fourth. 
mm -hmm. first fin finger on the low E string, fourth fret, third finger on the D string, six, sixth fret, and fourth finger on the on the G string, sixth fret. I look up at the sky. Alright, and that's pretty much the entire song. Thanks for watching.